In this video, I'll show you how to create custom GPTs without writing a single line of code. With GPTs, you can create custom versions of ChatGPT that combines instructions, extra knowledge, and any combination of skills. If you are a GPT Plus user, you can already see a number of custom GPTs created by OpenAI in your workspace. The community has already built some really amazing custom GPTs. And there are already a number of uh, projects such as allgpts.co, which are cataloging all these different GPTs created by the community. So for example, here uh, is a list of different GPTs that you can test out. So for this video, I thought we'll create a custom GPT that solves one of my own problems as a YouTube creator. And that is automatically creating video chapters from the transcription of the video. Now for me, this task does take some time, but I think it can be easily automated with uh, a custom GPT. So for example, here is one of my recent videos. It doesn't have any video chapters. So what I would like to do is to simply provide transcript of this video and let custom GPT figure out uh, where to place these different chapters. In order to create a new GPT, simply click on create a GPT button. Okay, so you're going to be presented with something like this. So on the left hand side, you have the conversation that you're having at GPT, and it's going to be creating you a GPT without writing a single line of code from your side. And on the right hand side, this will also give you a preview of how the GPT is going to look like and how it's going to work. So I provided a detailed description of what my GPT is supposed to do. I said this specializes in creating concise chapters from provided transcription of YouTube videos. And the, those are going to be on AI and large language models because I want to use this for my own channel. And then I told it that uh, the timestamp that it is supposed to generate is going to be in this format. I also provided a couple of examples of how it's going to look like. Now this is important uh, because this will give clear instructions to the uh, GPT on what to come up with. Now, the great thing is you are just having chat with ChatGPT and it's creating everything in the background. Now, if you go to this configure tab, so you can see that it's already started uh, putting in some details. So we still need to come up with a name for our ChatGPT or custom GPT. So we will do that through the chat interface. It generated the description. And based on the description that we provided or the requirements that we provided, it actually created a bunch of instructions that the uh, GPT is supposed to follow. Now this will evolve as we uh, clarify our uh, requirements to chat GPT through the chat interface. It also came up with some starter conversations or pre-prompt in here, and you can modify them if you want. Now you can also enable some advanced functionalities, for example, web browsing, image generation with DALI, uh, and also use code interpreter within your uh, custom GPT, or you can upload some files that are going to be used as knowledge base, right? We're going to look at all this in another video because for the current application, we don't need any of these functionalities. Okay, so it suggested a name chapter crafter. I said that sounds good. Then it also created a potential logo, but I said the logo for uh, for the logo YouTube logo is surrounded by books of different colors placed along the circle. And this is what it came up with, which I actually like a lot. Now I'm simply having a conversation. So for example, it's asking me some more details of how detailed um, these chapters needs to be. Uh, so it says, for example, should they closely mirror the specific language used in the video or be more generalized, capture the essence of the content. So uh, I want it to be very specific. I have seen these errors pop up from time to time. So if you see an error like this or some other errors, just click on regenerate. Now, if you look at the instructions, it already updated those. It says avoid subjective interpretations or personal opinions, focus, focusing solely on the video contents, right? So this is going to keep happening as we chat with uh, the uh, GPT builder. Now it asked me a couple of more clarifying questions. So for example, what it's supposed to do when there are ambiguous parts uh, in the transcription. So I said, just use um, your guess. 
right? Because I would really want to automate the whole process. And the second was regarding the personality of the GPT. So I said, be friendly. Now it updated the logo as well. And this one is pretty cute. I'm going to go with this. It again updated the instructions. Now it says maintain a friendly and approachable tone throughout your interaction, making the content accessible and engaging, right? Uh, and we also updated the name of the GPT. Now on the left hand side, you will see a preview of your GPT. It's actually ready to be tested. Okay, so we're going to go back to this video GPT-4 Turbo 128K context window. In this video, I'm talking about the context, the new context window of uh, GPT-4 Turbo and whether it's good or not. Uh, so uh, there are no um, chapters yet. I actually want to create those chapters. So for that, I'm going to go and click on short transcript. Now for this specific GPT, we will need to provide the transcript. But in a subsequent video, I'll show you how to automatically extract transcript uh, from any YouTube video. And we will be using the API assistant for that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for that video. So on the right hand side, now we can see the transcript along with the timestamp. So we'll simply copy this transcript. Okay, so we're simply providing the transcript and asking the GPT to create chapters for it. Okay, so it actually came up with the uh, chapters and the Time steps are in the correct format. So based on the video, uh, the timing as well as the chapter titles that it came up with uh, definitely seems to be correct. So this is pretty awesome. For a YouTube to create a, uh, this task does take uh, some time. So it's great to be able to simply automate this with a custom GPT. Okay, so I pasted uh, the time steps in here. Now let's see if it actually works. I'm going to click on this and it does take me to the correct point in the video. So this is pretty neat. Uh, this is already useful, but I think there are a few improvements that can be made in here. For example, the number of chapters that it has generated are quite a lot. So I think I can work with ChatGPT to reduce the number of chapters uh, that it generates for a specific video. I'll create another video on how to automate this whole uh, process, including the transcription using the OpenAI Assistant API. GPTs are extremely powerful and you can create very useful applications without the need of writing a single line of code. So let me know in the comment section below if you are able to experiment with it and what you think about it. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.